Hello friends, welcome to CodeBoard. So in this video, we'll see solution for left rotation of arrays in Java. That too, without any built-in functions. So this is a typical hacker rank problem. So let's see one easy solution for the same. First, let's understand what is left rotation. So suppose you have an input array like this, which has to be rotated. Now this array has five elements, one, two, three, four, five. And you are told to left rotate it by 1. Left rotate it by 1 means array will shift to left by 1 position. So in first rotation each element will shift like this. Each element will move to the left index. And then the first element will go to the end. So in this way array has rotated left. If we do one more rotation. In second rotation, output will be 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. Again, one element shifted to the left. For third rotation, it will be 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. So as you can see, elements are just shifting left in each rotation. So if you are given an array and after third rotation, if you are asked the output, it has already moved three positions to the left. And the first three elements have been shifted at the end of the array. Now input to this problem is an array and number of rotations. So if we say three rotations for this input array output will be 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. One way to do this is iterate a loop and rotate by one position in each loop up to the number of rotations. But we are not going to do that. We will see another simple solution in which suppose this is an input array Let's take the input array in the code first. This will be a predefined array. You can also take this as user input. So we are giving five elements to the array. And using a scanner object, we'll also take input for number of rotations in a variable called number of rotations. So if we want to do three rotations, the input will be three in this case. So here we have an array and number of rotations to be performed are three. So the output that we need is 4, 5 first and then the first three elements of the array at the end that is 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. So what we'll do here is first split the array. Split means we'll be splitting in two parts. Since we have to copy 4, 5 first, we'll be splitting it from here. So 4, 5 will first come into the new array. Then the remaining three elements which were at the beginning will take them and put them directly into the array. So once we find the splitting point, we'll just copy the elements after the splitting point into a new array. And then we'll copy the remaining elements. So what is this splitting point? How to find this splitting point? Now if you observe, we have to do three rotations and splitting point is before the index 3. So basically, here our splitting point is equal to number of rotations. If we have to perform two rotations, splitting point is going to be before index 2. So basically, splitting point is equal to index 2, that is number of rotations. So let's take one variable called splitting point and we'll assign it the value of number of rotations that we're going to take from the input. So let's call this rotating point and this is equal to number of rotations. Now once we have the rotating point, we have to print from the rotating point to the end of the array. That is up till the size of the array, we are going to print the elements 4 and 5. So our first loop is going to go from rotating point to size of the array. So we are going to use a while loop here. And we'll say while because we are starting from rotating point. So while rotating point is less than we have to go up to size of the array. So less than size of the array. We are going to take one output array for storing our rotated array. So let's take that first. And this output array will be initializing with the size of the first array. So we have taken the output array. Now inside the while loop will be transferring the elements to the output array. So output array we have to start from index 0. 
So let's take a variable for the index of output array. Let's call it i. And before the while loop, we'll be initializing i to 0 because the output array index starts from 0. So output array i is going to be my array. And since we are copying elements from the rotating point, we're going to say my array rotating point. So basically now in the first iteration, 4 will come to the output array 0 index. After that, we'll increment i and we'll also increment the rotating point. So in the next iteration, 5 will come at index 1 of the output array. And since we have come to end of the array, it will come out of the while loop now. Now it's time to print the first three elements. So for that, we'll be resetting rotating point to 0. Because now we have to print from the 0th index of the first array. That is my array. Now again, we'll use another while loop to copy these three elements in the output array. So while, now rotating point is 0. So it will go from rotating point up to, we don't have to iterate the whole array. We just need to go up to 3. That is number of rotations. So go up to number of rotations. So now we'll be copying the elements. So again, output array of i now i is already at index 2 where our 1 is going to go. So it is going to be output array i equal to my array and the rotating point that is the 0th index element from my array will go to output array next index. And again we will do i plus plus and rotating point plus plus. So in this way in each iteration all these three remaining elements will be copied to the output array. So this is the complete program of left rotation. Now let's once again see how we have done this. So first we took an array and we took user input in number of rotation. Then we found out the rotating point. Here it is equal to number of rotations. After that, from rotating point to the size of array, we copied the elements in the output array. And in the second while loop from 0 up to the number of rotations, we again copied the remaining elements in the output array. In this way, we incremented the index in each loop and we have left rotated the array by 3. Let's run this and check our output. So our input array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we'll say number of rotations 3. So the array is rotated by 3 here. If we again run and give rotations as 2, the array will be rotated by 2. So you can debug this and check how it works and also try for multiple inputs. In the next videos, we'll see some more programs on arrays. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video. Thank you.